Ladies and gentlemen, hello, this is Debo over at Lansay Go, and today we have another fun deck for you here. Uh, we're going to be playing this deck over uh, in MTG Arena. We're going to be doing some traditional play with it. And this is what I'm calling Scape Shift's Presence. It's a deck that I'm uh, working on right now uh, for the main site. So I figured go ahead and just give it a test, see how it was going tonight and uh, see what we need to, to kind of fix about it for the main posting and gameplay videos. So this deck is basically a combo deck with Scape Shift and Dread Presence. So for those who don't know, Dread Presence is a, is a creature that allows you to um, either draw a card and lose a life or deal two damage to any target and you gain two life by just playing a swamp. Uh, and in fact, it's just whenever a swamp comes into play under your control. So what we get to do is we then can use something like Scape Shift uh, once we have a Dread Presence or two on the battlefield to sacrifice all of our lands and then just get nothing but swamps and just nuke our opponent. And if we don't get that, then we can also use it just to kind of like control the board a little bit and uh, or just deal incremental damage or draw some cards. So the rest of this deck is basically controlling the board and then uh, cycling through our deck to be able to find our combo pieces. So at the top here, we're running a couple of Disfigure. You know, it's basically Black Shock. It's a pretty good card. Uh, running a couple of Duress. Planeswalkers are still around, so I think it's kind of important that we run a couple of main board. Uh, we're running a couple of Cast Down. Cast Down is just great about, you know, killing a non-legendary creature. And here's uh, some interesting tech for us. We're going to be running a couple of Dread, uh, three in fact, uh, Dread Horde Invasion. So for one to black, we get an enchantment that we basically get to, um, on our upkeep, lose a life and amass one. And we will be gaining life with Dread Presence and a couple of our other spells in here. So we don't have to worry too much about the life loss. And then also whenever a zombie token that you control with power six or greater uh, attacks, it gains life like until in turn, which can just gain us back some life. Basically, this is here to take our opponent's removal out of their hands. They're going to want to keep targeting the amass token, uh, which then will help us leave our dread presence in, onto the battlefield, which is kind of what we want. Uh, we're also going to be running for Dusk Legion Zealot. Dusk Legion is just a good chump blocker. It also cycles through our deck a little bit. It's pretty great. Uh, a couple of moment of craving for, again, the, like, that shock style of, of effect. However, we also get to gain two life, uh, which is kind of important. We're going to be running uh, for Discovery Dispersal. We're mainly playing this for the discovery side, being able to surveil and then draw a card is going to be really important. Just again, churning through our deck, seeing as many cards as we can. However, <coughs> with our one uh, Chromatic Lantern that we have in, uh, in, the, in the deck, we may actually be able to cast uh, the dispersal side. It just depends if we have this, this out or not. Now, I probably would run maybe a couple of more Chromatic Lanterns. Um, However, it, you know, we only have one in our, in our uh, library, uh, in, our, uh, in our collection on Arena at the moment, so that's all we're going to be, be playing. However, um, it, it is a good way for us to be able to fix our green mana and things like that, so we are going to at least be running the one that we have. Um, that being said, the only other green spell that we're going to be running is Pulse of Marasa. We have three copies here, and we basically return a creature or land card from our graveyard uh, to our hand, and we gain six life. Again, that sixth life is going to be really important to stabilize. Um, that's just one of those things that we're going to need. Uh, of course, we're running four Dread Presence and uh, three Scape Shift. We're not going to need Scape Shift all that often, but uh, we will want to see it eventually. So having the, the three in there is going to be important. Uh, we're running two Vrasis Contempts for Planeswalkers. Uh, one main board Ritual of Soot for uh, just a board wipe, since there's not a, really a better one in black. And then... Uh, we'll be running two Karn of Scion, uh, <laughs> two Karn Scion of Urza. Again, it kind of gives us that same effect of being able to cycle through our, our deck. It gives us a chump blocker if we need it, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, 15 swamps, two forests, and then um, a bunch of uh, black green lands. Now to our sideboard, we're uh, completing our duress package in the sideboard here. Uh, we're also running uh, two Blight Beetle. Uh, to give us protection from green and then also uh, make it to our opponents can't put counters on their creatures so that could be really important like ex against an explorer matchup or against um, that new like teamer 
uh, elementals list. Um, it could be a good chump blocker for some of their teamer um, elementals, all that kind of stuff. A couple of elder spell for the for more planeswalker control. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, return to nature here is going to be really important, um, not only to destroy an artifact or enchantment, but also to get that ability to instant, uh, to have an instant speed answer to things in graveyards to exile them away. So we're going to be running three of those. Uh, we have another ritual of soot in our main board, uh, and then we also complete our Karn Scion of Urza, uh, and then we have a Vraska, uh, big Vraska, and two Ugin. Um, both to kind of control the board a little bit more. Uh, Ugin helps us cycle through our deck. Vraska is just another win condition for us. So we have uh, a couple of ways for us to uh, deal with our opponent's board and uh, as well as continually cycle through our deck. That's basically what we want to be doing. So that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right into the games here. Going to traditional ranked, and let's give it a try. See how we do. DJ Sin. So for a good game, DJ. All right, so it looks like our opponents gonna be playing uh, first, most likely. Uh, it's very rare that players choose for their opponent to go first. Um, this seems good. We got one of our combo pieces, um, a, a way for us to start stabilizing the board, a way to get back things from the graveyard, as well as ways to cycle through our deck. I think we can keep this. We just need to be able to find that green mana in order for us to be able to cast the scape ship. All right, so we got a Dread Presence. That's good. We're going to pass the turn. So our opponent starts with the planes here. Maybe it's like a green-white tokens list, or maybe mono-white aggro. Uh, maybe white-black life gain, now that we know that they have a swamp. Domto Vanguard. They do have a couple of ways to answer this, so I'm not too, too worried about that. I think we're going to start with uh, Dreadhorde Invasion, and then have the Cast Down or the Discovery next. Although Dusk Vision Zealot is also very good, but I think we start with the Invasion here. Now this might throw off our opponent. They may think that we're on like mono black zombies or something like that, which we're not, uh, obviously. Yard on Dread Presence is really great. I love it a lot. I think it's kind of reminds me of like, Slender Man. All right, so they're on vampires. This could be rough. So we're gonna need to kill this next turn. Hitting us for four, that's pretty rough. Alright, got to our lands, that's good. Um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and kill this now. Wouldn't pass. So uh, hopefully we hit another land that we can play, and maybe do like discovery with the Dusk Legion, start filtering our our um, our hand a little bit more, and that way we could do like a Dread Presence, and then play a land, and then kill uh, like the Sky Mar Marcher Aspirant. Um, I'm not sure if we should be blocking the Sky Marcher Aspirant uh, versus the Vanguard. Um, I know the Vanguard will force them to pay for life. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Double Legion Lieutenant in the hand is pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. Yeah, okay, so now we definitely will have to just block just to stave off some damage. This is going to be uh, kind of a tough matchup. We're going to need to bring in that uh, Ritual. Go ahead and discovery. We gotta start finding our lands here. 
Luckily, there's not mana tithe in the format at the moment. Um. Okay, we can take the swamp. Play the swamp. Cast the dusk of zealot. Just cycle a little bit more. Hopefully, draw into like another swamp or maybe a forest. Maybe at this point, uh, some sort of three mana would be great. Perfect. Now, what we could also do is just play the Dread Presence, and then play this, which is a Swamp, and then deal damage to um, one of our opponent's things. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's that's not great at all. <laughs> that's not good at all. <laughs> that, that is insane. What great draws from our opponent here. Um, I think they just have this one at the moment. To be honest. Uh, <laughs> hey, I mean, I don't know how many would be able to handle something like this. How many decks would be able to handle something like this? That's, uh, that's pretty gnarly. I mean, we're going to kill ourselves now with a Dreadwood Invasion. Alright. Oh, well, we did draw another land. Um, yeah, I mean, like, nothing helps. I mean, we could, like, Overgrown Tomb, Untapped, Pulse of Marasa to be able to gain four life, bring us back up to ten, get back Dusk Legion Zealot, play it, draw a card, go down to nine, have two blockers, and then probably just go down to three life. Oh man, that's pretty rough. Um, yeah, let's try it. Alright, pay two life. Pulse of Morasa. Dust Luge and Zealot. Put us back up to ten. Uh, play Dust Legion so we don't die. Draw a card. See if we draw another forest. I mean, we're really close. We have the combo pieces. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay. We're back in it. We're back in it. We'll survive at three. <laughs> and then our opponent can kill us with uh, Dreadhorde Invasion. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we'll see how we do. Oh, uh, no. Oh, man, that's not good. Your blood is mine. That's not good. Yep, alright. Block there, block there. Ten, six. Down to three. We need a ton of life. It's gonna be a lot harder now to, to do our combo. Soren's pretty rough. I have Down to two. Alright. I don't have much. Um, I mean, I guess... Ritual set. It's gonna pay the four life for the Adanto. Unfortunately, we just don't... Yeah. I mean, he's got it. He's got it. Alright. We'll just concede. We'll go to the next game. Well, we'll have better answers in the uh, in the second game here. All right, let's see what we got. Blight Beetle does nothing. Uh, Ugin might be too slow. We definitely need another um, uh, another Ritual of Soot. Um, maybe something like Karn. And um, yeah, I, that's. Probably it. These other ones don't really do it too well. I mean, like, the other spell's okay. He's probably only running the two Sorens. Um, I guess we can run, like, maybe one. Uh, okay, so we got to cut four cards. These seem good. It just kind of sucks that we didn't uh, see a whole ton of our removal here. Um, let's go down... No, 
No, nah, what's it? We won't run it. I don't think it's that impactful. Uh, gotta cut three here. Maybe cut one Dreadhorde Invasion and a Duress. And maybe we only run three Karn. Yeah, we'll run three Karn. I'm just thinking more for like the, the, you know, if we can stabilize the board just a little bit more, we can get the Karn down, start filtering through. Hopefully we can get it. Um, our opponent just play. He had a really good hand. Uh, I will play first. Uh, Dreadhorde Invasion. Yeah, this seems this seems exactly what we want to have. So we'll do that. Um, we can get Dreadhorde Invasion down with Zealot Zealot, and then Discovery. Hopefully, we draw into a couple more lands. Um, swap Pass. Yeah, have an aspirant. Legion's landing, okay. Yeah. Alright, drew the scape shift. That's a little rough. Um, go ahead and get down to sell it. Alright, got the swamp. Slowly starting to build up our mana base here. We can get the swamp down and then play either an invasion or Dusk Legion Zealot. Nice, okay. Yeah, we'll just take the two. No blocks. Man, always have them. That's pretty rough. Alright, did draw another land. Uh, let's go ahead and sell it again. Alright, this is good. Alright, we will go ahead and pass. No attacks in the turn. So, now we have a, a way to be able to deal with this Legion Lieutenant. Especially if he's going to try to play like another one or something like that. In response, we can disfigure. Let's see what he's got. Sure. Uh, before we get that chance to use that sacrifice ability, we'll go ahead and kill him. Dust Moon cool. Zealot. So now we can put a vampire into play. But a taste of my power. Sure. That's fine. Is he gonna swing with it? He does. Okay, we'll trade. We'll make that trade. That's fine. Alright, drew another scape shift. Not exactly what we wanted to see right there, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and discovery. Okay, well, we do want both of these. Um, I guess we... I'll take the land first. We'll just make sure it goes into our hand. Then we'll get down the... Uh, oops. Uh, we'll get down the Dread Horde invasion here. So now we can start stabilizing a bit with our zombie army. Hopefully it doesn't go too crazy. Uh, we do have a Ritual of Soot as well. So that will give us answers to be able to... Uh... Oh man, this is three damage on your target? Wow, that on a plus one. Uh... Wait, I thought you had to sacrifice a vampire for that. Uh, would be cemetery. We'll go ahead and dust the zealot. Ooh, perfect. All right, so we drew in the dread presence. Luckily, it does not die to ritual of set. So we could Dread Presence next turn. He plays out a vampire. Uh, we swing in. And Ritual of Soot. And then Dread Presence stays. And then we can 
uh, scape shift the following turn and get one, two, three, four, five swamps. Maybe even more. And deal 10 damage to our opponent and we gain 10 life. Our cat was needing some loving, apparently. Luckily, our Dreadhorde invasion is actually doing work now. Sweet, so we actually get another swamp here. So we will go ahead and play out the Dread Presence. Can we kill this? Almost. We'll get it down pretty low. Sadly, it does die to them playing a vampire. Um, we'll go ahead and deal two damage to Soren here. Sure. We can get that back later. It's okay. I cannot be killed. And then we'll go ahead and all attack Soren. That's going to start getting him too much value. Um,. We'll see if he plays a vampire and then ticks up. Maybe kills the mass token here. Okay. I guess he was maybe holding on to that, hoping he would find something. Unfortunately, Ritual of Soot does not kill it, which is unfortunate. But, um... That's a good card. So we did draw the swamp. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, you can just start ticking this up and it starts getting out of reach. He will be able to give this plus three, plus three in death touch, which is not good. So I guess we just swing in, maybe like try to kill Soren, see how he blocks. Um, he doesn't know if we have a pump spell or anything like that. All right, so we will block there. We block there. He will. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're gonna ritual of set next turn. Or this turn, anyways. So, go ahead and ritual set. And we'll play the swamp and pass. Now, he'll be able to get in for five here, it looks like. Uh, putting us down to nine. We need, like, a cast down or something, or a brass's content would be great. Um, we just haven't been able to find it. He could also just start, like, hitting this to get, like, hit me for three and swing in. That could be an answer as well. Put the counter on there. Okay. Yeah, it seems like a kind of a good little match. Alright, let's get the temple down. Karn, okay. It is tempting <laughs> to scape shift all this away just to filter out a ton of cards from our deck to, uh, you know, try again later. Um, cause that that might be more impactful. All right, we'll go and do that now. We'll give that a try. All right. Sacrifice all of them. Get overgrown tomb, overgrown tomb, swamp, swamp. Woodland Cemetery. And we have a, we have a temple, forest. Maybe another swamp. These will enter tapped. Get the scry. Uh, Zealot is not good enough. Put it on the bottom. 
and hopefully that uh, kind of filters out our, our, you know, our deck a little bit. We're, I mean, we're down to 34, they're down to 44, so we're 10 cards ahead of them, theoretically. I'm going to have to start blocking with our mass duck and start taking probably four damage here. Just not, not, that's not too good. My bloodline flows through you. I guess maybe I should have brought in the, the Elder Spell. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. This is what you get for, for playing a jank combo. <laughs> All right, ooh. Okay, okay. This is actually pretty big. Um, all right. Dread Presence. All right, so I gotta make sure I don't screw this up. We have 25 lands in our deck. We just sacked seven. We see 14. So we should be able to sack everything. And get another seven up to 20, uh, 21. swamps. Let's go like that. Let's go with seven. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, inner stabs. Inner stabs. Boom. Tons of triggers. Alright. Two damage to any target. Let's go ahead and clear the board first. Back up to 18. Unfortunately, we don't get to combo kill our opponent. <laughs> it wouldn't have done enough damage. But at least it's a start. Now we can start relying a little more heavily on this board invasion. And we draw a Karn. That's pretty sick. Go ahead and take it up. But it probably just gives us duress. But I think it's a pulse of Marasa right there. Maybe, it, maybe it's escape shift. It might be. That's pulse of Marasa. Yeah, it gives us a duress. All right, we'll go ahead and cast it. Probably doesn't have anything. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and swing at the dread weapons. Next turn, this amass token is going to start getting big. Let's see what he's got right here. Another sword, and that's that's pretty rough. Another swamp would be awesome, because then we could kill the Sky Marcher next next turn if we draw a swamp. We don't have very many left in our deck. We only have a couple. So, we'll see if we can make that work. Unfortunately, this is going to start growing comparatively to this. Interesting. Maybe it's going to try to do a... Your efforts are futile. A Soren tick down on it or something. one life to save many. Yep. All right, we'll see what we draw here. Okay, we draw a swamp, so we can actually kill this this turn. So we will tick down 
repulsive Morasta. What was lost is now returned. Get back. Dread Presence. Gain six life. Play Dread Presence. Swamp. Didn't deal too damage there. Do not defy aristocracy. All attack. Soren. Alright. We've pretty much taken care of this game demise. so far. Dreadhorde invasion is just going to start getting more and more out of control unless they kill the zombie token. Uh, Karn's going to start getting his one rally. There we go. Cool. Alright, so now we've got one more game with this. So, that being said, uh, Dreadhorde invasion was actually really good that match. Uh, maybe we should consider bringing in the third version, uh, or the third copy of it. Um, over like Duress. Duress just really doesn't hit all that much, to be honest. Um, I okay, can maybe hit a Soren, but really they're going to be going pretty aggro. I would rather have like the Elder Spell over Duress. Um, in fact, we'll do that. We'll put one Elder Spell in. Uh, anything else we want to change? Um, now our opponent kind of knows what we're trying to do. <laughs> Makes it a little bit more difficult for us. Uh, I guess we can take out the Dusk Gluten Zealot and put in the other Dread, uh, Dread Horde Invasion. Um, and we just run it back like that. I think that's, uh, I think we're looking pretty good. Um, the deck actually, like, performed kind of how it was supposed to. Drawing that Dread Presence was, was really huge that, uh, that one turn. Being able to Dread Presence and then scape shift away all of our lands and deal a bunch of damage and wipe away the board. That was, that was big. Alright, one land. <laughs> and it's a tap land. A bunch of two mana stuff. Uh, I think it's too risky though. Jeez, oh, this is rough. So, lots of late game stuff. Nothing too early. We gotta go again. All right, we can keep this. Um, we'll keep the the green mana. Get rid of probably those two lands because we'll find more lands with this, and we have removal. I think that's that'll be good. We're running 25 lands, so it could be pretty great. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and, and just put this in tapped. Moment of Craving might need to be what gets played next. We'll see if they have the uh, the Lord or not. All right, Sky Marcher Aspirant is also a lot of damage, so we may want to consider just killing that too. Uh, Pulse of Marasa, that's pretty good. Um, so now we have our green mana on check, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and pass. See what our opponent does. We also have the two discovery dispersals, which is, will be pretty good. Um, Alright, so he's moving to combat. Sure. Go ahead and just kill all the Aspirin here. I don't want him to flip this Legion's Landing. That's going to be really hard, so being able to keep him off that kind of stuff is going to be really good. Um, getting the two life helps kind of stabilize a little bit more. Alright, so we're at four. I'll go ahead and Discovery Dispersal this turn. See what we can hit. Ooh, okay. This is pretty good, too. Um, getting this down is going to be really good, so we can just get a if we get rid of all our free mana, we can still cast it. Um, yeah. We'll draw the Chromatic Lantern now. And we'll leave the Moment of Craving on top. We'll draw that next turn. We can get down Chromatic Lantern, land, and then have mana open for Moment of Craving. Yep. Dink me for one. Alright, so, Chromatic Lantern. Luckily there's no counter spells in white and black. Get down the swamp, and we will just pass the turn. We'll see if he has, like, instant speed, artifacts removal. Uh, 
like a, 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 a disenchant, like maybe you brought that in for the Dreadhorde invasions, something like that. I'll take the one and see if he plays anything. And if he does, um, we'll go to craving that. Life total's a resource, so it's okay just take, getting dinged for one here. Hopefully we see a Dreadhorde invasion soon. That card se uh, seemed to do pretty good. All right, didn't do anything. Um, I'm okay with just burning this now, keeping him off creatures. He might just have a lot of removal in hand at the moment, so... All right, we'll get a swamp. We'll go ahead and... Uh, Could leave out the dispersal, which is pretty funny. Um, but I think we'll—I think we're just gonna discovery. Let's see what we have. Uh, yeah, we'll—we will want to draw both of these. Um, let's get Karn down now. He might have like an elder spell or something like that. I will out. defend my ally. I figured he had something like that, so it's probably just gonna give us the forest. And not the Legion the Dust Legion Shell. Yeah. That's fine. Uh unfortunately no creatures in the sideboard yet. Ooh, Vasic's intent. Okay, that's really good too. Uh, we'll go ahead and get down the forest, and we'll just pass. We'll see if he plays anything next turn. If not, we just brass his contempt this away. Soren. Yeah. Soren Arco, Lord of He's probably gonna minus. If he ticks up, then even better, to be honest. Can't do anything just yet. Alright, yeah, two minuses. Go ahead and get rid of Sworn now. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe we should just be getting rid of the Champion of Dust. Um, but we do have a way of just gaining incidental six life, which can, can be pretty good for us. Uh, I would like to try to find like a scape shift or something like that. <laughs> After a Dread Presence. Alright, drawing all these lands is getting pretty rough though. Um, Alright, well, let's go ahead and pass. Him not killing the uh, the Planeswalker is, it hurts a little bit. Um, I mean, we wouldn't have been able to pulse it anyways, I guess, but I don't know. It's, it still seems like it hurts a little bit. Another way that I've thought about building this deck is maybe we're going more like just dumping things into our graveyard and getting things back. Uh, so maybe we, we go more like just green-black value with, with some stuff. Um, Uh, run like Citrus Supplier, the Glow Spore Shaman, uh, anything like that, you know. Yowza, okay, we're hitting the wrong side of our deck here. Um, just pass turn. So at least fogs for a turn. I was hoping to be able to get value out of it other than just the six life, but hey, fog's a fog. All right, that's pretty rough. Not gonna lie, uh, and Exelon's binding. On our chromatic lantern. Uh, that's fine. What could I? 
Oh, I have to have something in the graveyard. Okay, so I don't have a fog, actually. Um, that's kind of a bad option for me. Just, I guess she doesn't know that we only have one in our deck, so... Oh, well. Um, we already have a bunch of our green... I do need a creature. <laughs> oh, man. Dread Horde Invasion does not do it. Sweet. All right. Well, I'll scoop it up. Uh, looks like someone wants to directly challenge me. Uh, let's see if he is available at the moment. Alright, we'll see if he's available. He says he's finishing match. Alright, we may be playing some uh <laughs> we may be playing some phone tag here. We'll go ahead and just jump into uh, instead of a traditional ranked, we'll just do a play. Oop! Wrong tech. That's mystical enchantment. Let's go ahead and cancel. You guys haven't seen the uh the deck list for this and also the gameplay video. This deck is a lot of fun to play. Um, I highly recommend you guys try it out. I'm just going to go ahead and tell my buddy here that uh, that I'm just going to be playing a best of one and that he can let me know when he's done with his match. All right. Hey there, Benji. Welcome. All right. We'll go ahead and we'll keep this. This seems pretty good. We've got some dig, uh, dig through stuff. We've got some board stabilization, late game play, uh, and also some removal. We'll keep that stuff. We'll eventually find our green mana to be able to do the escape shift combo. Let's see, what did I say? Um. I think we're going to go ahead and just leave up this figure. Boros can be pretty aggravating. <laughs> so, um, okay, that luckily doesn't affect me too much. It is a little annoying that my disfigure does not kill it. <laughs> That's a lot annoying that my disfigure just doesn't kill it. Um, like we drew Brass's Contempt. Go ahead and get a... Uh, Dread Horde Invasion down. Uh, next turn, we can either... Dots of Vanguard. Okay. Luckily, that will die. Um. Alright. Cast Down's good here, too. So, we'll go ahead and... I don't even want to mess with this. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of the Adanta Vanguard. So this one's actually turning out pretty good for us, having the uh, drawing all of our removal the way we are. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Uh, we'll go ahead and cast down the Legion of Loss. No need for us to be able to uh, have to deal with that. No blocks, our opponents can hit us. Uh, Moving and craving's pretty good. Um, we we'll get down. Uh, let's discovery first, see if we hit a land. We do hit a land. Um, no need for this as of yet. However, we probably will need that once we get the Dread Presence here down. Um, you know what? We're going to go ahead and we're, we'll save the swamp. And we're going to get down the temple. I know we just saw that. But here's my reasoning. I'm going to get down the Dread Presence and hopefully kill with the swamp whatever it is that he's uh, going to play. We're going to attack and start dealing our, our opponent's damage here. Hopefully we can get this guy up to... Oh, he's got a little Legion War boss, so yeah, I'm glad I, I did that. 
Yeah, we'll be able to take care of this, no problem. So, uh, Dread Presence, this also leaves us this stuff as well. Um, go ahead and deal with two damage here. We'll gain two lives, stabilize a bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and swing in. Now, what's really great about this is we still have our two pieces of removal. If he kills the Dread Presence, we can get it back with Pulse of Marasa. Um, so I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good where we're at at the moment. Let's see if he swings in. All right, so we get another Swamp, so we can kill this dude here. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that now. And then we'll just go ahead and, I guess, swing out. I don't know if he wants to take seven. He took seven. Okay. We have a bunch of removal in hand. So I'm not too worried about the knight here at this point. Lava coil on that. Sure. That's fine with me. Um, we'll just go ahead and get rid of the night token. And we'll go ahead and pass. See if he wants to swing in. I'm glad he actually didn't lava call the dread presence. I guess he doesn't know. Uh, I just didn't know that. <laughs> Double Dread Presence? Eee, I really want another swap now. <laughs> That'd be so great. Um, we'll just go ahead and swing out and we'll see what happens. So if he has like removal for this, uh, there's like a shock or something. If he does, I can just like pull some Marasa it back or something. He does not. Right. Resolves. Now, uh, if I draw a swamp next turn, we can start going off. Lava coil that. Ah, that's a shame, but sure, that's fine. Um. We can get rid of this guy here. Um, is he going to swing in? Nope. Alright, we'll just go ahead and get rid of this guy. Uh, start allowing us to swing in with our zombie army token. And, yeah. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and swing. We can now Dread Presence. Now, the question is, do we... I mean, we're at such a li high life total here. Maybe... Um, and we got Lethal next turn. Let's just go ahead and draw a card this time around. And our opponent takes it. Awesome! Well, that worked out uh, pretty well. Okay. So it looks like my buddy is uh, ready to go. Alright. Gogreal. We'll go ahead and we'll play first. Uh, well, we have a combo piece and the mana to cast the combo piece, but um, we don't have a whole lot of early game interaction at all. I think we're we'll looking that. Well, we have early game stuff, but only only one land, so I think we're we'll looking this again. Kind of hurts. Maybe, maybe we should have kept the last one. Knowing my land, uh, my, my luck and, and mana screw here. Um, go ahead, Morgan again. Uh, yeah, this is better. Late game, early game control, plus a couple of lands. Maybe put back the Jet Presence. We have four in the deck. Uh, we'll keep the five. What we have? We'll keep the two forests, and we have the swamp. So we'll put one swamp back. And probably pulse. We like that. And then we'll play swap first and pass. Sucks we had to go down to five. The London Mulligan helps a lot though. Um, 
Alright, uh, so looks like we're up maybe up against elementals here. Either that or, or blue green flash. Overgrown tomb. We'll leave up moment of craving. Next turn we can overgrown tomb tapped. Or forest. Uh Jet Horde invasion. Okay. Um Yeah, we're just gonna put this in tapped. And we're gonna see if they have the uh, the blue green elemental. Something reef. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Creeping Trailblazer. Interesting. Um, let's go ahead and just get rid of that. This figure is good. Um, let's go ahead and get down the Dreadhorde Invasion. We got this figure. And then next turn, if we draw a Swamp, we can Dread Presence. Alright, we did not draw a swamp, we drew a temple. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that down. Let's go ahead and check our... Uh, yeah, it's a swamp. We'll go ahead and keep that. Hey Lancelot, uh, welcome to the chat, man. We're going to leave up this figure here. Got the swamp coming next turn. You can use that to either kill something that they play, or... Yikes, okay. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we can take care of this, take care of the land if they swing in. We'll resolve that. Pass to attacks. Yep. Alright, so we will pass to blockers. Block. Yeah, block. And this figure. Oh, That's pretty lame. At least we only take one damage, but... Or we didn't take any damage, but yeah. Um, I think we actually just draw... We just draw. Contempt, awesome. So we can use that to get rid of the Nissa here. Next turn. He's gonna get to the two lands swing in for six. Yowza, okay. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. That's fine. Get out of my way. Or, you know, don't. Uh <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All righty. Well, Benji, <laughs> do I get rid of the Chandra or the Nissa? <laughs> oh, this is awful. Um, I mean, Nissa kills me in a couple of turns. Chandra, I guess. Oh, man, this is bad. <laughs> All right, he says Chandra. We'll go ahead and use Chandra. And this is gonna ultimate soon. At least I tried. <laughs> Hopefully, we draw another. Hopefully we draw another um, Braska's Contempt or something like that. Uh, yeah, Benji, she already did wipe my board, which is unfortunate. The land shall conquer you. I mean, Nissa can ultimate next turn, and then it makes it incredibly difficult for me to, to win. Unfortunately, these all have Vigilance. Elder Spell seems like a good spell to bring in. 
Uh, ooh, discovery dispersal. I don't have my <laughs> I don't have my one of chromatic lantern though. Uh, yeah, it looks like looks like my phone's got it. I mean. Let's go to game two. The thing I was thinking is like maybe we could find our ritual of soot or something like that, but yeah, it's not that great here. Okay. So Blight Beetle actually seems like it would work really well. Elder Spell, Duress. Um Ugin could be good. Maybe a ritual so it maybe one Ugin. Let's take out the Karns for the Ugins. Um Ritual of Soot, Dread Presence, Chromatic Lantern, Pulse. Let me go down a couple of pulses. Give me all the pulses. Um great against those elementals. I'm not sure what to cut next. Maybe a discovery. This figure doesn't seem that great. And... Maybe a moment of craving. No, let's leave it in the moment of craving. We'll take out a dusk leaf and zealot. Alright, try it like that. Hopefully find the blight beetles. That'd be a good answer to those elementals. Um it still could be teamer elementals. Oh, uh, I can't I don't remember if he was playing blue. I think he was. Uh we will play first. Yeah, this is fine. Hopefully we get to the six mana relatively fast. Fortunately we don't have much ramp in this. Um, I was a little worried about trying to put in a ton of green spells. Looks like our opponent uh, it has Mulligan. Okay, so we will overrun Tomb Tapped. Next turn, we can Dusk Legion Zealot. Yeah, this is my. Oh, I'd still be Elementals. Um, play the Swamp and sell it. This will give us discovery dispersal for the following turn. Drew into a swamp. Virtual soot, that's really good too. Um, so we will go ahead and just play Overrun Tomb Tapped. And then discovery dispersal. See if we can't find our beetles. Cast down's good. I don't know if we need. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. Yeah, we'll keep both. That's fine. Ugin will start flooding the board with creatures. There's the rest of my moment of create, create moment of craving target. So it is uh, teamer elementals here. Um, let's swap moment of craving. which leaves our cast downs for um, a different elemental. Resolve in the temple here. Let's see what our opponent plays, if anything. All right, my turn, sweet. Um, this is good. We'll go ahead and scry. Uh, we can put the forest at the bottom. And then we'll swing out. We'll leave up the cast down. Next turn we can Ugin. Take it up to five and then start ticking it up and hopefully being able to take care of like Nissa's, things like that. Found another Risen Reef. Sure. Go ahead and 
cast it down now before he draws. Just in case it was um, some sort of a way to negate the draw there. Or uh, negate the spell. Virtual offset. Alright. You will go ahead and Ugin. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. alone guide you towards victory. I guess the question is, do I just kill this? I don't think so. I think we just let him have it. The rest, the that's fine. That'll be good. Me. Uh, no attacks. So now we have blockers for, like, if he plays Anissa and tries to swing out. Um, the dress will be good to be able to hit some of his non-creature spells in his hand. Um, the card advantage from Ugin is just going to be enormous, so... Hopefully we can get that down. We do have the Ritual Set to be able to wipe the board if he just plays out a bunch of creatures. Um, which also... Yeah, there's Anissa. Which is fine, we can just blow that up next turn. Get the Duress, be able to dress something away. Um... Alright, so he does attack. That's fine. Let's go ahead and double block. What's the dread? Ooh, that's good too. Trade presence. Alright, so let's go ahead and... My minus three. We'll kill Nissa. We'll duress. Uh, we'll take the Chandra. Um, go ahead and... Dread Presence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. Alright. This will be seven. Um, let's go ahead and draw the card. This time around. Get our swamp sweep. So he's probably going to Krasis here. Which is fine. And then we can ritual set swing in for three. Um, go ahead and deal two damage to our opponent here. And ritual set. And tick up. Truth Get a land. lies beyond division. Dust and Zealot. Jar card. Dreadhorde Invasion, sure, we'll get that down too. Man, what a turn that was. That was an insane turn. Lots of answers coming. Lightning Strike, kill Ugin. Sure. Ooh, Scape Shift. Do we just win here? I think we do. So we just need to sack six lands. One, two, three. Right. Sweet, we got it. Awesome. Uh, we'll go on to the game three. Uh, that actually felt pretty good. I'm pretty happy with all of that. Uh, the only other one to maybe consider is getting Braska, just be able to get the, the uh, tokens on the tick up. It seems like it could be pretty good, especially since they have Menace. They can maybe swing past some things. Um, but the card advantage of Ugin and also just being able to blow up Planeswalkers is really impactful. So I think I'm okay with how we have this. Let's run it back. Let's see how we do. Um, we got really fortunate with having a bunch of removal in hand. So we'll see if we get that lucky again. Now, I, I believe we've mulligan down quite a bit too. Down to five? Somewhat? Oh no, that may was game one. Uh, ooh, Blight Beetle's really good. Yeah. And protection from green. Ritual of Soot, Dread Presence, three lands and a Duress in turn one. Yeah, we can keep that. That's good. Plus, we have our two green sources for whenever, <coughs> excuse me, for whenever we want to combo. Uh, so let's go ahead and Duress our opponent. 
Alright. It's a little bit more of an aggro and for him. That's fine. Creeping Trailblazer. Alright. Go ahead and get down the Blight Beetle. It stops the Overgrowth Elemental. And also the uh, Creeping Trailblazer for that matter, since it's green. I guess protection. Let's see if he tries to play out the Overgrowth Elemental. Anyways. Does not. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll discover dispersal. See what we can find. Spell Pierce. That's fine. Um, we'll do overgrowth to to taps. This card actually seems pretty good against them. See if we drew like a lightning strike or something. Sure, we'll block there. Drew a swamp, so we can play out the dread presence. Maybe saving like a lightning strike for that. But uh, we'll go ahead and play that out. Let's start taking down our opponent's life total next turn. Be lightning strikes it when we have like pulse of pulse of Marasa and things like that. Um, important to note, even though lands have green mana symbols, they are still colorless lands. So that's pretty rough. Uh, yep, no blocks. All right, so we can. Ritual of Soot, wipe the board, swing for three, play a land, deal two there. That seems pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So now if we draw another now if we draw another swamp, we'll be able to kill Nissa next turn, which will be good. Um, he's also down to uh, I guess technically five mana, but it's only three lands. So he's gotta be careful about how many lands he uses. Uh, he may be casting like a huge crisis here. So he's going to be able to untap one of those lands. Um, we'll see if he untaps the lands that, that add double the mana. And if so, being able to maybe kill that next turn could be pretty good too. We'll see what we hit. The land shall conquer you. Yep. Is this a big crisis? Now, obviously, getting rid of the, the Blight Beetle for that. Uh, he's just going off with the Overgrowth Elementals. And an Omnath. That's rough. Um, let's try first. Let's see what we hit. Ugin? Okay. Plus Ugin Zealot. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have enough to be able to play it, kill Nissa. Uh, we could also just kill Omnath as well. Uh, so this is why Blight Beetle didn't work against the Nissa like I thought it would. So you first put the counters on the land, and then it becomes a creature. So it's not actually getting the counters as a creature, it's getting it as a, uh, a land first. This is a big crisis. Big crisis, okay.
Do I just take seven? Um, I'll take seven for now. <laughs> Discovery dispersal. So I guess the question is, do I take up and hope for a, uh, I guess I have to do Discovery Dispersal for Ritual of Set. Casting the Ugin here does not actually work. Alright, we just need Ritual of Set, unfortunately. Did we get it? We did not get it. Alright. Cool. Yeah, he'd, been able to, he'd be able to swing out next turn and, and win. Uh, Alright, well, we tried. We tried. Well, so the way this this deck is looking at the moment, let's go ahead and, and jump into the the deck list here. Just kind of take a look at it again. All right. Also, looks like Benji might be able to actually make it work this time. All right. So how this deck is is working? It, it's kind of like 50 50 at the moment um it can do some really cool things but it's it is kind of uh missing the note somewhere maybe i'm not running enough ramp so maybe i should be running a few more green sources or we need the chromatic lanterns or something like that to get the ramp in pulse of morasa seems kind of like a dead card um the fact that you have to return a creature or land from the from the graveyard and then gain six life. Uh, it does not help at all if um, uh, you know you don't have anything in, in the graveyard at the moment. So that might be something we want to cut, maybe for the three chromatic lanterns or, or for more chromatic lanterns. Um, another one that could maybe consider actually is maybe the lockets. Maybe the the black green lockets could be really good. Um, that being able to get the draw and also the ramp, uh, that could that could maybe be pretty pretty deep. All right. So in order to get this direct challenge thing to work, um, it is case sensitive. So apparently uh, we've been trying to do it with the uh, lower cases and things like that. So let me go back and try this one more time. He has already challenged me, now he's waiting for my direct challenge. So we'll go ahead and get these capital letters going. There we go. We'll hit play, we'll give it a shot. And it failed somehow. <laughs> Alright, try this one more time. <laughs> our, our, our direct challenge options mismatch here. Okay. Alright, telling him tournament match. And we'll go ahead and hit play. And we'll see if it works this, this time. <laughs> oh, this is, this is tough. I, don't, it, I, I think that's something they could fix in this game. I, I, I think it would be easier if you, um, Watsy, well, if you're listening, I'll, allow the direct challenge. Maybe give like an indication that somebody is directly challenging you to pop up. And then, um, I'll play first. And, eh, we'll keep that. Make his cat hiss at me. Um, habits where you can direct the challenger upon it. Um, Tasty Tasty, turn off the, turn off the Twitch stream so you don't cheat. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
allow them to directly challenge you. You get the notification. You can accept the direct challenge. And then once you're in the challenge, be able to vote on if you want it to be uh, the tournament style or, or whatever the things are. I think that would make it a lot better. Um, I'm going to put this in tapped. <laughs> All right. Bring it. Blue white flyer or something like that. That's fine. Put in discovery dispersal here. Let's see if we can get some good. Um, I don't know how good dress is. We can bend the swamp. We'll draw the dress. We'll try it next turn. See what they have. Um. Technically, he could counter it. Alright. So let's go ahead and dress. Hmm. Okay, we'll just get the absorb. Play the swamp. I mean, he's only going to be able to use this once. That's okay. Dread Presence would be one of those things that can give us like, continual answers. So, we'll play the swamp. Uh... We'll play the Dread Presence. Alright, so now we have a lot of ways to deal with the Siren Storm Tamer and everything like that. Prison Realm? Oh, that's not nice. Luckily, we have answers to um, things like this realm at the moment. Alright. Like, we have answers on our sideboard for it. Uh, we'll just go ahead and draw the card. No. We'll do the till da 2 damage. Make him burn this if he really wants to. Okay. That is fine. Man, winged winged worth is pretty great. Alright. Go ahead and swing in. We'll leave the Rascal's Contempt unless he has the that one way to... That one way to deal with, uh, like, get, getting the, the huge, like, 7-7 seven, seven flyer. I'm just tired of this thing hitting me. Get rid of it. This will leave Rass's Contempt up for us. If he kills the Dread Presence, we have Pulse of Morasa. Alright, looks like we're in a good position here. Next, I'll do that. We'll play the Swamp. And we'll actually draw this time. Ooh, Escape Shift. We, can we cast it? No. Okay. We need another green source. And find a forest, we will win. Um, let's go ahead and find out. Hey, there we go. Alright, so all attack. All swamps. Interstaffed, 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 interstaffed. 
Deal two damage. 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 Let's start drawing cards now. Sweet. All right, we got the combo off. All right. Um, Return to nature seems pretty good. Ritual of Soot could be decent. Uh, didn't see a lot of whole, whole lot of counters. Uh, I think the number of dresses we have main board are fine. Um, so I think, yeah, we'll go Ritual of Soot. We'll go um, Return to Nature. Maybe a Vraska this time. Maybe try the Vraska. See, see if it actually, you know, will do what we kind of want it to do. Um, I do like the fact that we could minus it, get our opponent's life total to one, and play a swamp and kill them. So we'll try it like this. We'll get, <coughs> we'll get a. I think we'll take out the pulses and. Maybe a Dreadhorde invasion. <laughs> All right. Going into the next one. See how it works. Another card to maybe consider in the sideboard is Sorcerer's Spyglass. Uh, yeah, this is sweet. We got the combo in hand. We'll keep the seven. Plus, we have a way to get rid of the uh, the enchantment for protection. So, um, we'll see if we can do it. All right. This looks like Battle Bond Arena or something like that. That's pretty sweet. Um, okay, let's do Temple for Protect. Scry, do we need a swamp? One, two, three, four. Wouldn't hurt. We'll keep it. Alright, we will swamp, discover dispersal. Um, yeah, we'll just draw, cast down this turn, and draw the card for next turn. Um, opponent ops. I also just want to get down the chromatic layer. So, I don't know, we'll see what, see what we do. Alright, looks like our opponent left us an opportunity to just get down the chromatic layer, so we'll just do that. Um, so we can... I'm gonna bounce that back to my hand. That's annoying. I've got you. But uh, we could just brass this content with that. Um, which I think we probably do. I don't want him to have his counter spell up. We'll just go past his kinship now. We will meet again. We'll take the one. So he knows we, he knows we have this. Yep. Do you have another to parry, maybe? That would suck. Nope. Okay. So we can. Chromatic Lantern. 
Um, Dust Legion Zealot, draw card. Into a forest, okay. Temple. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and swing in. <laughs> All right. We will. Cast down. And I think we just Karn and try to get the absorb out of his hand if he has it. Yeah. That way we can dread presence, get it on the battlefield, have scape shift to nuke our opponent uh, with backup for in case he has the enchantment to get rid of it. So hopefully he doesn't have another storm tamer. Okay, that, that's helpful. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We could also just get down Praska. That seems good. Um, Jeepers. Alright. So one, two, three, four. We have two mana available to us. Um, yeah, let's just get down Praska. Let's see if he uses the silent storm to the not. ship. Go ahead and play the temple. Get the force at the bottom. And we'll just go ahead and swing out. Must be a good way for us to start flooding the board. Be good. Obviously it, it does not deal with uh Okay, sweet. Resolve. Resolve. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if he doesn't have, uh, if he doesn't have absorb, we could win the game here. All right. So okay, no absorb. At least, not at that point. As the negate, though, that's fine. Alright, we'll just go ahead and deal with two damage here. And we'll swing in. And we have the return to nature to get back our brass. <laughs> or our dread presence. For that matter. Maybe we should have brought in all three of these. Seems good. I didn't know how many of these he'd be running. Um, so yeah, I think we just get back Braska at this point. Uh, destroy target enchantment. Get back Braska. Create a two two. We'll get another dread presence at some point. <laughs> we'll leave the overgrown two in hand in case we draw another. Uh, dread presence. Let's slow this down. Maybe gotta bounce the pirate. I'll protect yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and tick up. Make your captain proud. And move to combat. And all attack the fairy. And so we can theoretically kill our opponent next turn outside of him having like revitalize or something like that to gain life. Um, it would be nice to be able to get a dread presence or a way to kill the prison realm. Oh, I guess I could just 
also use Brasker for that too. Didn't think about that. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'll I'll tick up to 12 next turn. Hopefully, he doesn't draw another Prison Realm. Lyra. Okay. Well, I I guess we dispersal. And then they have to discard a card. My opponent gives the, the GG's. So we'll go ahead and just go for the random. Alright, good game. Good game. So there you guys get to see, you know, the, the Dread Presence actually do its thing with the Scape Shift combo. Um, I appreciate my buddy uh, playing with me. Maybe we would want to try again. But other than that, um, the deck's performing pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the deck list here. I uh, say so he's going to edit his deck list, so I'm actually going to do the same. So I'm going to take out Pulse of Marasa. There's got to be something better that we can put in that place. Um, it wouldn't hurt maybe to have like uh, a land tutor. Um, let's see. What do we have? Search your library. So I guess we could do like Elvish Reclaimer or something like that to start, you know, uh, that could maybe be a decent option. There's another like one mana spell. Um, be able to get down uh, like Dread Presence and then use this as a way to like draw cards or deal damage. I like that. We can try that. Um, yeah, I'm done for that. Let's give that a shot. One, two, three. I'm, I'm cool with that. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and send me another challenge. We'll go ahead and give this one more try. Oops. Let's put it back. All right, there we go. There we go. Yeah, uh, Watsi, well, that's that's really annoying. Uh, just let us get join the challenge and then figure out what style we're going to be playing with the like a boat or something like that. I mean, all right. Uh, yeah, I'll play first. And sweet, we'll keep this. A lot of green mana, which is good. Help us helps us get to our combo. Um, the new elf, I think, will be a pretty good sweet synergy in here. Um, a good way to like just constantly be drawing cards. Actually, uh, being able to tutor up our green land if we don't get the green uh, if we don't have enough. Um, Cause that happened in one of the games. So I think. I think that's a good way to go with it for sure. And then I still like the idea of, of like what we're doing here, just you know, dredging through the deck, dredging through the deck. Um, going over into tapped, and then we'll do Woodland Cemetery into Dust Dust Vision Zealot, Healer's Hawk. Yep. All right, so Cemetery into Zealot, draw a card. Flooding out pretty hard here. Hopefully we can get into some more like late game action. Wow, flooding really hard here. Um, I guess we'll just do Overgrown Tomb Tapped. And we'll swing. See if my opponent wants to block. <laughs> Like you would. You know, wow! All the lands. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lands. That's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, we'll get down Karn. Take up. Start. 
Let's start getting through. We have Rastic's Contempt for Forest. Of course we have the Forest. Um, all attack. So, the other thing about Karn is he staves off attackers, which is, which is really good. Yeah, we're splitting it, Angel. Yeah, it's totally gonna kill Rastic's Contempt. You are only hurting yourself. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and get that out. Action is Alright. I guess we can hold it up. We'll hold it up. We'll play the forest. And we'll pass. He may have an absorbent hand though, so maybe I should have cast it. It's fine. Farewell, and thank you for the message. All right, so we can chromatic lantern, discovery dispersal. Um, Death Sprout. How did that get in there? Uh, <laughs> don't worry about putting that in there at all. Um, okay. Sure. Sorry. Oh, I guess I could have, should have done the discovery. Oh, well. I could have attacked there too. Oops. All right, misplays all over the place. Um, yeah, I, uh, didn't realize this came into the deck. It's not bad. This is like search of a forest or something. Um, so yeah, we'll just, we'll discover dispersal. Surveil two. I mean, this would have been good earlier, maybe. Um, I think we bend the swamp, we'll draw the flamer. We can play him this turn. Um, we'll kill Resplendent Angel. We'll get a... Forest. Cast Reclaimer. We'll leave the swamps in hand. We're doing really good on lands here. We need a cast down or something like that. Uh, Dread Presence would be decent because we could actually kill the, this angel here. Um, going into Charter Course. Okay. I have to discard a card. Talk. Yep. Yep, down to four. Wow. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, all the lands. All the lands. Um, okay. Sideboard. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, so the deck that he had brought in before had the Prison Realm as removal. I don't know if he still is running that or not. I didn't see it that game. Um, so we will... I think we'll bring in another ritual. We'll bring in... We'll do the Karns this time. And we'll bring in the three Return to Natures. I don't know if he still has it or not. Uh, we'll take out the two Duresses. We'll take out... Maybe a Dreadhorde Invasion. Maybe all the Dreadhorde Invasions. Um, 
Death, Death Sprout. <laughs> it's not even supposed to be in the deck. So, okay. Um, got a couple more. Maybe a Zealot. We'll cut a Zealot. We'll go like that. Oh. Well, I guess I have to put one back in. Alright. We'll put Ugin back in the deck. I forgot. Since I ran with 61, I gotta leave 61 in the deck. Death's route. Who knows? Maybe I should have left that in there. It's not bad. By any means. Uh, I'll let the first. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Removal, removal, land, filtering. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's not too bad. Alright. Uh, lands. We will go... Zealot. And the more land. I mean, we, we technically needed the land this time around, so I'm okay with that. Yep, down to A2. Try to course, draw two. Into a forest, okay. Uh, we'll put the forest down. We'll do another best solution zealot. Do another land. So this uh, this next turn we can like discovery, leave up moment of craving, something like that. Let's see what gets down. Siren Skull Tamer. Yeah, we may just kill that. Try to course. Nope. Okay, so swamp and discovery. Ooh, Karn. Yes, please. And we do want the green mana eventually. Uh, maybe we just bend it for now. We'll just bend it for now. We'll be able to find the green mana. Uh. And then we'll, before he has the mana open, go Siren Storm Hammer. Alright, kill the Siren Storm Hammer here. God's willing. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and swing out. No. It's a bad idea. Cancel attacks. No attacks. That's protection from Black. Until then, it's turn. Gotta use my noggin. Alright, we're going to take two. I mean, we technically will have the ritual set as well. This is very. Right on schedule. That's more like it. Sure. I mean, that worked out for me. Um, we'll go ahead to combat and we will kill Teferi. It's only a matter of time. And we'll play... Elvish Reclaimer. Swamp. Into Karn. And took out. We'll see what my opponent gives me. Probably gives me the Reclaimer. Over Escape Shift. Yeah. That's fine. We can always get the Escape Shift back if we need it. Um, so we've got one land in the graveyard at the moment. Attacking Karn. <laughs> I, do not I, think I, I started saying this before. Uh, the reason why Karn is so good is he, he also just staves off a lot of attackers. So um, he's definitely the bee's knees for sure. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and we'll discover you first. Surveil 2. And draw a card. Um, so we'll put one in the graveyard. We'll draw one of those. Which now should buff the... Oh, as long as there are three or more cards in the graveyard. Oops. Should have read that more closely. We'll go ahead and reveal <laughs> the top two. Oh, I'll make use of that later. Ooh, cast down and cast down? Oh, cast down and dread presence. Gives me the cast now. Sure. 
Um, does he have another God's Willing? We'll find out. Let's try to kill this Iron Storm Tamer now. Yep. Let's try to get these out of his hand as best we can. Um, I guess we can get down another Reclaimer. And we'll go ahead and swing out. Had I read this more carefully, um, I would have put I would have put the Overgrown Tomb in the in the graveyard. But um, there's that. It's fine. Okay. So next turn we'll be able to do this with one of them. My retribution will be swift. Lyra. That's pretty good. Luckily we have a Brassus Contempt, we'll just go ahead and do that now. Brassus Contempt. Um, let's go ahead and take up Karn since we have another Karn. Are you certain of your decision? Give us the land, for sure. Uh, we will... Go ahead and s we'll sack a land. We'll sack a forest or a forest. Actually, we'll do it for a temple. That seems good. Get the scry for next turn. Dry presence on top, sure. And we'll swing out for four. Now we're starting to really put pressure on our opponents. This feels really good. The Elvish Reclaimer in this. Yeah. I'm digging that for sure. Um, I'm going to leave the Overgrown Tomb in hand. We can get down the Dread Presence. And uh, then start like nuking our opponent. Prison Realm, sure. We've got Return to Nature also. Which I'll probably will do in this next turn. An angel. Yep. Okay. So, um, this is actually a really cool synergy here. So, we can Dread Presence. Play the swap. Um. This we can pay the two left. Deal two damage here. And then we'll activate We'll sack a uh, temple. Get a swamp. Deal another two damage here. Uh swing out. So now, one, two, I mean, we can Dread Presence on, or Prison Realm on Dread Presence. Yeah, that's fine. So now we can, like, Karn, get back. Yeah, is that starting to have to leave up the blockers now? Um... Let's go ahead and Karn first. I have faced worse than the likes of you. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Probably gives me the Karn. Yeah. That's fine. Um, we will... Swing out. You can always get this back at instant speed. Play the forest. And we'll get out the zealot. And 
we'll pass the turn. So now we can Elvish Reclaimer get back Dread Presence. At the end of turn. And if not, we can always minus down Karn to get back Dread Presence as well. And kill our opponent with uh, Reclaimer activations. This feels a lot better than Pulse of Marasa uh, in the deck. I mean, uh, I'll, night and day. Yeah, that's fine. Pass to attackers. Pass. Destroy an enchantment. Trade presents. Swamp. All right, game three. That felt really good. I think we just run it back. Man, those Elvish Reclaimers. Yeah, that was the sweet tech that needed to go in there, for sure. Really good. Um, definitely enjoying that. Um, for those of you guys watching, again, my name is Debo over at Lanceco.com. And uh, this will probably be my last match. And uh, last game. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream so far. And this is a, a deck that I'll I'll be doing a breakdown uh, pretty soon, maybe for Wednesday, something like that. And that way, you guys can have this as well to look at. Um, this looks really good. I mean, it'll stave off a lot of his uh, a lot of his creatures. If he gets down like Storm Tamer turn one, we can disfigure. Looks like he may have like Opt or something like that. So we'll just we'll just pass. This. Yep, there's the Opt. We also have Discovery for next turn. Let's see if he gets down like a Healer's Hawk or something. Nope. All right, we'll go ahead and just Discovery since we drew two. We have a Negate. Ops. Okay. Maybe looking for a spell pierce. Um. Magic Lantern. If he gets down to Fairy, I mean, he just bounces it. it kind of feels bad. Um. I think we're okay bending it. We've got all of the mana that we'll need. We will need the green mana though, so we'll, we'll take that. Next turn we can uh, like swamp, do a discovery again. We might have just like a ton of counter spells in hand or something. Um, Alright, swamp, we'll do discovery again. See if we can't find more stuff. Oh, jeez. Okay. We'll just bend both of these. Hitting a lot of lands. Oh, my gosh. Oh, all the lands. This kind of reminds me of game one, where I drew almost half my lands. So, uh, we are mostly there on the, on the Reclaimer needing lands in the graveyard synergy. Healer's Hawk. Yep. What else do you have? Anything? I mean, that's just going to get disfigured. See if he has absorb. He wants to absorb that. He does not. Okay. Ooh, a Karn. Okay. <coughs> he may just absorb this. Does he have it? He does not. Sweet. We'll go ahead and start dealing with, uh, oh yeah, probably gives me the Reclaimer. Sweet. We'll definitely get Ugin back next turn. Um, Ugin's gonna be really good in this, in this match. It's just all of the, all the version. Yeah, being able to, well, I guess we can't do that at the moment. We have to deal with this first. Let's say it could deal with this, but <laughs> we need a way to deal with that first. Um, 
So let's go ahead and get down the... Hmm. Go ahead and cast down. Siren is just annoying for other other things. Uh, sure, we can leave the moment of craving on top. A lot of his creatures are pretty small. We'll put the reclaimer on the field. I mean, it's a slow. I'd like to be a dread presence, but it is what it is. I'm known for my excellent type structure. Yep. I have a plan. This is fine. Luckily, the Elvish Reclaimer will grow faster than Teferi can. Um, and we do have removal. Uh, we'll go ahead and play Temple. Take a Scry. Put Swamp to the bottom. Get down Elvish Reclaimer, unless he has a counter spell. He absorbs it. Sure. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't Moment of Craving now. Well, like, at the, at the, uh, on my opponent's turn because of the That was pretty impactful for my opponent, having the absorb on the Reclaimer. There's nothing. I'll have to kill this thing on my turn. I could also d maybe dispersal back or something. But let's see, discovery. Do you have another absorb? It's not. All right, we'll bend both of these. Let's see if we can't hit. Ooh, something like that. Destroy target and jam it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll just get the Ugin now. Your patience is rewarded. And we'll just go ahead and kill Fairy Miscreant. So now we can Ugin next turn and Karn start just drawing through our deck like crazy. I've got it. Explain it, Angel. Okay. Let's go ahead and tick up first. See what, see what we get. Good choice. <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna get. <laughs> um. All right. Let's see if it's countered. It does not. All right. Let's Not petty war. So be gone, interloper. Play the swamp and sell it. Draw a card. Another escape shift. All right, now I'll be able to start drawing two cards a turn. So um, hopefully I can get into my combo and just nuke my opponent. But we'll see. Might be a bad idea. Favorable wins, sure. Very sure. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Maybe bounce his own favorable wins and replay it to draw a card. Ooh, okay. Do I just win here? Um, let's just tick up, see what happens. Swamp. I'll <laughs> see An excellent choice. <laughs> swamp, swamp. Okay. So. Let's see. One, two, three swamps into the graveyard. Two into exile. One in hand. Alright. One, two, three, four. Tread presence. Does it get countered? Does not get countered. Skip shift. Does this get countered? Does not get countered. Alright. Um we will leave. Alright, so 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I have, yeah, I should go enough swamps here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Intercept, intercept. Alright. Deals two. Deals two. Deals two. lethal on board. See what my opponent can do. Oh, I've <laughs> done the hero thing. Just one angle, for sure. I mean, luckily... Luckily, we can, like, ritual of soot. Alright, um... Go ahead and tick up. There's an, yeah, swamp. Let's see what we get. Cast down of Rassus Contempt upon it. Which one do you want to give me? Cast down. Okay. Um, so, let's try this first. Cast down. See if we can swing in. Um. Tick up. I guess we'll try getting this down again. By the way, we have. We have lethal. So. Let's try this. He was on. Yep. Swamps. Go for style points. Oh no! <laughs> I'm on those swamps! <laughs> Alright, I guess I couldn't get the style points. I should have just played the other Dread Presence and played the Swamp. Alright. Good game, Ben. Appreciated you playing. Well, guys, that's the list. Um, let's go ahead and pull it up real quick so we can take a look at it one more time. Escape Shift's Presence right here. So again, this is a combo with Dread Presence and Scape Shift. Basically, you want to Scape Shift out a bunch of swamps and deal just a ton of damage to your opponent uh, with the Dread Presence on the excuse me on the second uh, ability there. You can also use the Dread Presence just to draw cards, which is great to filter through your, your list. Um, we were originally running uh, Pulse of Morasa, however, Elvish Reclaimer was sneakily good. I really like that a lot. Um, Dread Horde Invasion, um, they were 
it was kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it was good, sometimes it was bad. It was good trying to get your opponents to use their removal on the creature. Sometimes it just didn't do much, um, and instead was just hurting you enough. Since we took out the Pulse of Morasa, maybe we need to find a better uh, thing than uh, Dreadhorde Invasion in, in this two-drop slot. We want something that's uh, that will provide us incremental value, which is why I went, it, uh, I went with Dreadhorde uh, Invasion. But there might be something better that we can run. Um, Death Sprout wasn't supposed to be in there. There we go. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's what we ended up going with. The the Karns were fantastic. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. Um, I was pretty pleased with this list. I think it did a lot of cool things. Uh, let us know down in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube. What did you guys think of the list? Um, did you like the change from Elvish Reclaimer or from uh, uh, Pulse of Morasa to Elvish Reclaimer like I did? Uh, but yeah, feel free to let, let me know what what could I do to make this list better? Is this something that you guys would want to take to your F&M? And, &M? and uh, hopefully it would be. In any case, again, I'm over, uh, my name is Debo. I'm over at LandsayGo.com. You can also follow us on our socials, uh, which is again, Twitter at LandsayGo1. Facebook is LandsayGo. Uh, and you can also follow us on the Facebook group, The Sideboard. And then we also have a YouTube channel, YouTube.com. Uh, search for LandsayGo. Uh, otherwise, just follow us on our website, landsego.com. Again, I'm Debo. We can't do this without you. I appreciate you guys joining me for the stream. And I'll talk to you soon.